Okay, B4, problem number 12, directions, solve the inequality, okay? So we're going to solve this similar to what we did before when we solved equations or equalities. Uh, we get my x's on one side, numbers on the other. In general, for inequality, I like to get my x's on the left-hand side. That's how they're typically read left to right. So what I'm going to do is first start with my x term, get this over here. That is, I want to get rid of the x term on my right side. So I'm going to add and I say get rid of, how does that get rid of it? Well, negative 4x plus 4x is 0, so it's gone. But remember, if I add something to that side, i got to do the same to this side. Okay, so I add 4x to the left side. Uh, I'm going to rewrite my inequality. 14 plus 9x is less than 17. Okay, and my next step would be, remember, the goal is to get this x by itself, so i got to... Get rid of the 14 by subtracting, because it's positive. So I subtract 14 from both sides. 14 minus 14 is 0. Right, so it's gone. And then over here, 17 minus 14 is 3. So my equality, inequality is now 9x is less than 3. And I'm one step away to isolating the x term, or isolating x, divide by 9. Okay, so 9 divided by 9 is 1, that's why I did that to get x by itself. And I now have the inequality of x is less than 3 ninths. We should, something should stick out about that 3 ninths, I should see that that's reducible. That is, I can take 3 into 3 and 9, and 3 ninths is really the same as 1 third, right? Divide that by 3, 1, that by 3, 9. So my final answer should be x is less than 1 third. Okay. Again, we didn't have to, for that example, we didn't have to flip our inequality because I divided by a positive. If I divide by a negative, you have to flip. In this case, I didn't. And now, I'm um, done. That is my final answer. For this one, we have to graph it, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and erase the work. You can rewind if you need to. And we'll take a look at the graph. X is less than one-third of my answer. So, here's my number line. There's zero, and I'll draw a couple numbers here. There's one, there's two, there's three. That's negative one, negative two, and negative three. So the first thing you do is find one third. Where's one third? Well, it's a third of the way between zero and one, right? Right there. That's one third. So I draw an open circle, and I'm not going to fill it in because it doesn't, it's not included in this solution set. X is less than one third. So I leave the circle open, and I graph everything that's less than one-third. X is less than one-third. That's all these numbers going this way. All right, so I'm going to shade everything back here, starting at one-third, okay? Remember, these are not, it's not just one number for an answer. It's a whole set of answers. The set of solutions, everything less than one-third, and that's indicated on my graph, everything back here, okay? Very good. That's the end of that chapter, so keep working on your homework. Remember, you gotta finish, you gotta do your homework in order to pass this class. Alright?